Welcome back to NASCAR 2004, and today we're going to be doing a all-star race against, I'm not going to be qualified for this, so it's time to qualify for Texas, and we're going to do this right now, so we're not doing just Talladega or Atlanta or DTM Boro, and this game has no things like such as the Charlotte, it was unavailable for this moment, so we're going for a all-star qualifying for this moment and looks like we're gonna be spawning our current vehicle such as this so I need to turn off this volume because I'm going to do race for just until morning and sadly then the moon just come up to rise and where's this morning right away since I already turned down my volume, so let's spawn our first car. We're not doing Jimmy McMurray, so we're not doing just Mark Martin, so we're gonna be doing Greg Biffle, so it was the all-star race in Texas Motor Speedway, so this is the National Guard right there, so we're gonna be driving first, and the speedometer is still there by the way. And looks like we're going for a all-star qualify today, so this track is completely an update like this and like this one this one just looked pretty good as well so we're hitting to 250 kilometers an hour and looks like we're gonna be starting for a lap time with this guy greg biffle now let's go start with lap number one so i'm going to be slow down for this and the turn one is going to be very much quite not easy down to 240, down to 230 kilometers an hour, hitting down into 250 kilometers an hour. So it's just turn two and turn number three. I'm going to take it on easy on the higher one. So lap one is going to be finished. And let's see what lap number two that you can do. So the moon is still up and looks like it's already even nighttime. So I just complete my first lap in the Texas Motor Speedway and looks like this car like Greg Biffle is going to take itself for taking advantage for the lap times and so on. This is going to be more harder and what it takes to be and try to take outside to the inside lane to 250 kilometers an hour. This is not an official lap time. And it was not a official lap guide by the way for just moving on to lap number 3. We're heading down to lap number 6 and looks like the first 2 turns are just 3 lanes of just 4 lanes because 4 cars are going to even wider for 4 wide against them. So even though it's been 3 wide in last 2 turns in turn number 3 and turn number 4, the 4 wide must be and turn number one and turn number two so i'm hitting to 250 kilometers an hour so the lap number seven has been going on for this time so it's about four more laps to go and by the way it feels pretty much and quite a bit something and looks like i'm being slowed down for this moment and looks like we're going for a lap number eight we're just two laps from the finish, so here we go. So the lap number nine is going to be going on. So until lap number 10, it should be the final lap. So we're still using the four Taurus and which is the ugliest car. So it does not look ugly because sometimes I'm going to be driving around this track because this is all star, by the way, and hitting to 250 miles an hour. So I'm just using 250 kilometers an hour in turn 3 and turn number 4, so the white flag is on until our final lap, it should be on our side, so the 4 wide goes to slow even cars down, and not by the turn down to 237 to 240 kilometers an hour, so the final long straight for the one last time, so hitting to 250 kilometers for the one last time in three wide and let's just get out of here and the checkered flag was finished qualifying in texas motor speedway and we finally did it as well turns out it jumps out of the vehicle and the car should be despawned in a moment 
So I'm pretty sure this car I left here in the garage. So I'm about to end this video. So we just completed 10 laps of qualifying the Texas Motor Speedway. So I need to turn up my volume right now. It turns itself from podium into hell right this before. So if I'm going to be ending this video, so I just want to make you know. So how many times that I actually wanted to say this. So anyways, thanks for watching. And this podium is looks like pretty in notorious thing. So so if we're gonna be doing some more lap times, if we're gonna be more finding some ways. So if I qualified in first, so. I really already I am. That's the end of this video and I hope you enjoy in Texas all-star qualifying or even race. So no online qualifying or just test race for this car. So even the number 16 is better by the way. So anyways, thanks for watching and you give me a, a truly support right there. So which will be Tripper Concept will be signing off and I'm going to be talking to you all later. And I'll see you in the next race and I'll see you on track.